Kevin, I'm loving the sunshine, but I know we need uh, some rain out there. Yeah, it comes at a cost. You love spring days like this, but we desperately need storms, and we are in an epic drought across the western states. I want to go and show you. This is what it looks like right now at Lake Powell. Lots of clouds there. Temperature 66 degrees. The winds are calm. Water temperature chilly at 56 degrees. But Lake Powell is such an interesting lake, and there's so many people who use it. Take a look at this. This is from the National Park Service. This is actually at the Waweep launch ramp, and you can see the water level has dropped well below launch availability. And you can see not only at the end of the ramp, there's a cliff at the end of the ramp. So no launching there. In fact, many of the marinas have closed, their launch ramps have closed because you just can't, there's not enough water to launch the boat. So how much are we talking? Take a look at these numbers for Lake Powell. So when you go back to a year ago, April 22nd on 2020, the elevation was 3599, well below full at Lake Powell. Today, 3563. We are 36 feet lower today than where we were last year at this time. With a very low snowpack coming in and a very low stream flow, it doesn't look well. Last year's peak happened on 20, the 22nd of June at 3611. This year's projected peak, 3575. We stay 36 feet below the peak. It is going to be a different kind of year at Lake Powell. If you're planning to go, make sure you understand where you can launch, where you can't launch. Castle Rock Cut is closed and likely will remain closed. Even if we get that peak water, we're in a desert, and that reservoir shrinks and grows depending on how much water is flowing into it. And when the water doesn't flow, it definitely shrinks. We